I have made many sacred sacrifices and compromising compromises, but none of the moral degree, and I will never do to another man what he had done to me. So tell me, what does it feel like to be the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world, to be the apple of the eye, the catcher of my heroic lie? Why, I must say, you are the most gracious of women, Miss Tammy Fay. In the perfect world, we all still see and seek gods, but we see each other naked, the burning of the bush, the smoke into clouds. Our mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy morning come from where ye run, thy will be done in New York as it is in Pariah Prison. Abstain from dismay your daily dread, and forgive us your masses, as we forget he who trespassed against you, and cast us not into damnation, but deliver us from news people. Amen. My friend, you will be relieved from pressure. By a prayer angel messenger. This is an ode to Tommy Fay Messner. Fuck, shit, cum, cunt, dick, twat, wanker, pussy, prick. Bite me, fight me, slight me, write me, sight me. Thank you, are you sure you know you definitely want to? Go with me to the crockery rockery. It's got mixed reviews, but hey, we're on the local news. We got knives and we got forks. We got perfectly pointy skewers and sporks. A cast iron skillet hand washed for you, big dorks. Drawers and stores, dears, mine and yours, his and hers, cheer. Cutting boards, washing boards, cupboards, apple cores, floorboards, or tiles, bitch, pick your own styles, rich, miles and miles with no piles and dish ads. Are these your wishes? Because these are pictures of the Mr. and Mrs. eating sandwiches. For dinner or for breakfast, like a supper or a lunch enthusiast, outright outcast, or Cabin H high class, or straight up motherfucking dumbass. It's a land that's small, but it's a place for all. Uh, pelt hunter, earth lover, carpet bagger, political plugger, back shover, steak raiser, bet wager, wage slaver. You see, this is the land of condiments and cutlery. Welcome to the mother loving crockery rockery. I'm clearly masochistic. Pseudo-sophisticated, scholastic, scholar, mystic, semi-syllogistic, I'm too realistic, anthropomorphic, stick, insect, and lipstick. But even a blind old me could clearly see it's not known to every mother or every son that cooking is for everyone. <laughs> Apples and oranges, port wine in your pores for ages, four horsemen riding, Sons of blazing rages. Here's an afters if you got room. Willfully cascaded over plastic doom. Teachers, lawmen, gun guys, gay guys, technicians need paid, now or soon. Preachers, policemen, lawmakers, homemakers, home bakeries from now till past noon. What will we weep? Inhale smoke in Yellowstone. Bring out Obama's brand new drone. Whiskey, weed, weekends spent undone. If you don't have time for that, stay and forget frogs, fucking acid rain. Activism is for the free of mind. Activism is for the preoccupied, on the grind. Nobody fixes things around here. After ignorance realization, you think you need a beer. Deliverance from your indifference, ablation, creation, dear. You disagree? Show me how it's done then, sister. It's your turn to steer. Roswell, Russell Crowe. Russell Brand on the door. Wait, there's more. It feels like I've said this shit before. Pull that skirt up or get dubbed to whore. The whip. The wheel is dying, fella. She's washed up on shore. I'd like a one-gun symphony, a written-down electric city. Get off the stage, you big fat phony. What, are you gonna cry? Want your mommy? Where did we hide all of that money? What is life without a little syrup and honey? Just give the individual one last damn chance. That's right, dance, monkey boy, baby, dance, dance. <laughs> Nobody laughed when the killer wheel killed. Well, not all of us, that cunt was highly skilled. <laughs> <laughs> Racism is so boring and rancid that this is what you get for dropping babbling acid. Over you scooch, father, go easy on the hooch. Please no more spoon whacking on the perpooch. Bark, bark, you were promised to walk in the dog damned park. This is the dusty new internet age. No need to ask who is underage. 
I can't tell you it's much more than luck. You must spend your soul in a machine to make your buck. So sow it or sod it, you practice stoicism, but that doesn't mean that you are it. In a decade where you can cause a problem as quickly as you can solve it, maybe next year you'll pass the total toss or audit. Because we are but mere mice, singing sentiments forever in a loser's paradise. The Pet Syndrome. Friends with everyone and enemy to anyone. Minor crashed car. Car door ajar. Hazard lights on over the patio wall he's fallen. Mr. Fairfax, blackout asleep in his wife's favorite daffodil tulip flyer bed. Flyer sired by the empired card with an overpired credit card. It's a pleasure. I'm the Fairfax family dog. Loyalty is my curse, and company is my job. I've always been cool with the facts, man. It's just the industry of hedge funds and Swiss bank accounts I can't stand. In this economy, it is not every person that can shine. But then again, we all have to let our hair down sometime. Miss Fairfax gives me the walkies and the treaties, but she's always been more of a cat person, regardless of species. As for the kids... Jackson plays me saxophone. Mary finds me scary. Laura is one hell of a snora. And Dick treats me like shit. I'm a mutt among men. Mr. Fairfax is a pencil pusher with a pen. And I never thought I'd be this lonely. Surrounded the center of attention. I'm man's best friend. Keeping guard always. I'm the one who's supposed to die. I love it, I hate it, I validate it, all with forgiveness and a wagon tail. At the foot of the bush that holds Fairfax in his quaalude slumber, I curl up at his scuffed penny loafers another night longer. If they can't manage to put me down in time, I'll die on my own terms like Fairfax after he saw the signs. I'll remind myself now and then, no one really cares what happens to a dog, in the end. Songwriting is similar to poetry. Poetry is similar to comedy. Comedy isn't similar to music, but musicians and comedians are similar. Writing poetry is like singing a song. Music writing is like telling a joke. Practicing stand-up isn't like spoken word, and poets are never funny. Making someone laugh is like reading a poem. Opening someone to cry is like telling them a joke. Moving someone to dance is like finding love, and the artist is never sure. A metaphor is just as good as the real thing. A ball and chain isn't like commitment. It's amusing, but it isn't hilarious, and no one will ever love you. Keeping a beast in a cage isn't fair. Disorientation is the same four corners on repeat. Quarantine isn't the same as imprisonment, and the coronavirus is a hoax. The truth is similar to a good story. A decent yarn is similar to a life lived on stage. Wisdom isn't the same as knowledge, and information is relative. Philosophy is kind of like religion. Religion will leave you lost. Philosophy will make you indecisive, and there is no shame in looking for a better world. Anger isn't the same as a lack of kindness. Kindness is nothing without anger. Rage isn't to be repressed, and evil is as real as love. Happiness is like a garden. A garden isn't like sadness. The pursuit overwaters the flyers, and the decay begins. Death might as well be sleep. Rest isn't a lifestyle. God is dead, and you will never die. The Tumbleweed, 
The rumble and the seed, the bullwhack on the cow bell, the crow's sky and the heat smell. Our hero's silhouetted shoulders enters the frame. He's no sissy, he's here for more than just riches and fame. He rides the western horizon on his steed of tame, but at least the horse has a name. Our hero will leave no one to blame. You were about to say he's too cool for school. That was before he dropped his gun and made out like a fool. No one will kill him now. He skipped the golden sundown duel. All things considered, he could be slower on the draw. His cockiness really brings into question the quality of the law. Half cut before the afternoon. Funny looks, nervous feet, a fully-fledged cartoon. Beneath his lasso, a tassel of plans. Above his patchy beard, a hat of silly strands. For this, there are no words. No words for the life, none for the knife. No words for the conflict of love, none for the fit of the glove. No words for the peasant children caught in the middle, none for the killer's riddle. No words for the schoolgirl scared lawman. None for all of them. And of course, last, but definitely not least, no words for the girl caught beneath the boulder. Here he comes, baby. He's the cowboy with flyers in his holster. The Clownfish. He doesn't know. He's making it up as he goes. The Clownfish. He is a very silly man. He's swimming up the stream that froze. Everywhere the clownfish goes in the whole wide world, he seeks asylum from the alumni of what was said versus what was heard. The fearful and the lonely concur. The happy and the fulfilled conquer. A beautiful range of ignorance and horror. The clownfish, he does not know if he's believing in love or evil or a community beneath a steeple, wondering if they can see it too, all the rest of the people. There is life, life for us all, it's pure absolutely lethal. It's genuinely no fuss, the clownfish man, he is in all of us. I have the most intense orchestra at my back and heels. They sing the most piercing violins over my breakfast, lunch, and orange peels. I scroll down another vapid timeline feed. Nostalgic piano jingles calling back from a time before I could read. Which was only a week ago. Now that you mention it, or I mentioned it, forget about it. They war cry red trumpets over misguided hard hits with warts and all, all the extra bits. Green-tinged knee-drop to the sonnet, yellow-trapped bumblebee under our car bonnet. Of all the endangered creatures, this one will die once it attacks. What kind of defense system is that? An AK-47 it clearly lacks. Who knows what he'll do next or after? Capitalistic socialist cacophony moralist crying through years of laughter. I think my boy Gundun joined ISIS. You know the Mafia loves a crisis. We turn to the corner, occupied by no other individual, to submit our woes and worries set in stone with a chisel. There's a small victory in every battle. There is a fire still lit under the mantle. I am in the thick of it right now. Morally flexible, my brain will not allow. Every sentence ends the same. Every sentence ends the same again. Baba boop beep, your most highly regard hours of sleep. I am your favorite dream. Every fear, thing, desire that had ever been. An apple I want to eat. I will slice through this. You know the mafia loves a goddamned fucking crisis. But if you need five minutes to cry, be my guest. But please don't take too long. Time concerns need be addressed. I'll keep us both safe here, abreast. The violins are less screechy now. 
and the pierce is slower, looking up on our backs at the stars dying lower. I look to my side to greet you, and I wonder where you are, the only soul I never knew. I hope you're not too far. I told Sequoia and Cashew that when I had aged and I had grew, I would want to be like Jacques Cousteau, drinking milk at the seaside chateau and watching the waves plateau, or Indiana Jones exploring tombs with thrones silhouetted by a candlelight old skull and bones. But alas, at last, biting my tongue, lips, and some high teeth, with the teeth unveiling beneath, an endless chasm embellished with contrast and relief, swords unsheathed at the helm of wisdom and desperate belief, and just behind two ill-fated washed-up alcoholic actors is where these fears lie, its genetic blame our ancestors, and men, women, and other alike, brothers, mothers, Covers of covers, words like maggot and pike. I think the Beatles said something about practicing prejudice and giving in to sweet, sweet hate. Just wait, let me get it straight. Maybe it was Christ, Trump, or Hitler, or perhaps Gandhi, Bundy, or Schindler. Release the hinds before it's too late, raise the gate before they escape. Now that is the fate of the early writ. But you can get discounts and deals to your satisfaction using the brand new mobile phone application. It's always a little fun to watch the chain reaction in the human or personal faction. Using the law of attraction, you can crash in with fashion and wield handheld compassion. Maybe, if the two could speak, Give credence over grievance to the weak. Cashew and Sequoia can break up this constant paranoia. Elaborate and make sense of this hilariously confusing panorama. Mr. Anxiety's surprise is always a step ahead of insomnia. If I had to set fire to all of my poems to warm you, I would. Another bullshit, fraud man sentiment, I warn you, if only I could. I've never been the strongest, smartest, most useful, and definitely not the nicest. But I want to help this beauty I see in crisis. I care more than you know. I love you more than I'm man enough to show. I am the greatest and best man that has ever walked the earth, and learned to be this fellow from a mellow dude that surfed. Where would the worker be without the market? How could the starlet act without the starlight? I be a fool among a few other accomplishments, the Jeff Bezos overtop Amazon drop shipments. Now I'm certainly not a great guy. But I try. I think I try. I believe that I try. Now I'm certain. I am a cretin. Under chance, a narrative I have been set in. As honest as honesty will show. As horrible as horror can go. Even if it costs me my life, I cannot sell a friend on the river. A caregiver is not the exact opposite of a caretaker. I water the flowers and I cut the grass like the cemetery groundskeeper in time for Sunday Mass. Your heart can break for two people at once. You can pity struggle, yet shun the duns. Tears can flow from pain or joy for the sin or for who you employ. For the dunce, or a bunch of cunts. Sometimes I wake up and I can't acclimate, I can't accept the reflection I accumulate on the flights of stairs I've stepped. Overprepped, overswept, underslept, underadept, 
all as usual, except a word to the wise. Compromise. This next one's by. I don't really know what it's by. Um, <laughs> it's called Heartbroken Jesus Fucking Christ on Academy. <laughs> I know, right? What about my brother? Yeah, maybe. It's about me, dude. <laughs> yeah. Specifically. Jesus with a mustache. Hi, <laughs> um, hi. How does it go? Does anyone know how to start? No, no sorry. You guys live. Um, <laughs> a journalist of Gonzo, a tosser and a poncho. My consciousness that rolls with punches and silly lunches that launches me over losses and hunches. Before they church us, as the watch watches following curious causes for the purposes of fondness. So be cautious of these crosses, tainted bosses, tilted tosses, branches, the family owned brooches, representing the choices of choosers and their coaches. The modern man reapproaches. I am fabulous with an incredulous craft gasps, tightening the glass for our maps. Of social masses with rightly enraged lower classes, rearranged asses that passes the last of us. Fake philosophy. Kitchens and coffee, bathrooms and toffee. And is it this rhyme that you have lost me? And at this time you have forgotten me? I'm the good guy, the cable guy, the lily pad frog, turning cogs in the mist of great fogs, finishing off the workers' log, the well written song. So tell me, can you build it, Builder Bob? I will pay you with corn on the fucking cob. I am pathetic with a majestic, gestated aesthetic, cashed out without a credit. Crashed out without a debit debt, as romantic as it can get. Least I forget all of what I remember and what I regret. Who else is filling these unmatched shoes, riding along the curb of worldviews, spangled and mangled with a half seven sunrise blues? Captain Cuntfuck, read me the new ruse. I could learn to read it myself if I choose. I could lose my way home if I confused. Bees and trees start. Bees and fleas descend amongst trees for these. Our end times predictions, so abandon your many little fictions and bask in the light of a God with real convictions, restrictions, limitations, clouding visions, and hiding vibrations. I take reality and I fold her. Life is in the eye of the beholder, death surmised by poet soldiers that only ever asked for one pure summer. I'm afraid I am betrayed. Just like Jesus, I can see this. Getting news, being abused, myself I excuse. For I only am, fuck all but a man. Mother Nature's ironic diss on what whispers remain of God's plan. I wasn't lucky. I had good timing. I find reasons to smile with what we do. I get the feeling I'm being watched. I get the idea that this isn't real. I get the feeling I've done this all before. And my friends and my family are waiting. They're all still waiting. They've only ever been waiting. I might as well do it. Fuck it. It's not like it's deliberate. So deliberate your deli dilettantes. The pillow won't turn over. The cushion can't roll over. I make myself sick. Seriously sick. My head hurts. My heart hurts. Where my head lurks, my heart hurts. Die like a man, live like a woman, entertain easily, impress no one. You never could convince yourself to do anything for yourself, so you told everyone it's for the greater good, even though that is a lie. Feel like an embarrassment to your establishment. As long as I am still alive, you can always turn backwards and downwards to me. No surprise. Well, I wonder, what can happen? When you push a shopping trolley as far as it can go, manage to keep the rhythm and the groove, holding on to the room, the rhyme, and the booth. All but for a love letter. A mistaken item taken out the equation. Not sure if it's my right to read, nor if and or in the right mind to conceive nor concede. Love letter. So I guess I just better not trip up and stutter, and go ahead and read her. Anyway. Here it is, a sentimental offering, a gesture worth scoffing, asked and attract, 
the highest criticisms, demeaning witticisms, causing psyche schisms. All but for a love letter. A silly little love letter. It should flow and rhyme better. Like shattered by rocks, the human heart it locks. That might be why it feels bittersweet for us to meet in the foreground of a sunset or the gutter of a pandemic street. Putting things in a new order. The mirror mirrors reflection behind your mind above your shoulder. Behind your neck, the pearls of virtue. If only I had a clue and knew how to love you. This is a case of Schrodinger's love, and his lecture notes are written just out of frame right above. Grab a handful of order at the door and keep a diamond ring of chaos around my finger forevermore. In full control of it, a handful I can handle. Got sad for a bit, a rag doll, barely at all. My love, my dear, possess me, please possess me. Encompass the scam if you can, encompass this card man that I in fact am. My soul is on fire for you, with you, the world is higher. Divine, oh so sublime. That it hurts. It's time you learn to swim. Put the water through your hair. Don't realize the time you could trim by staying underwater down there. Hesitation is the root of many misdirection. Indecision eventually leads to determination. Staying up all night, daydreaming, trying to get it right, authenticating. However real and authentic a product of fantasy can even be. Cool, spelt with a Q. Q, spelt as silently as it started. U, spelt without U. Thy, spelt as old-timey as it sounded. Bukowski, without the book. A trip on the NHS or the National Express. Scoring medium to lower rate of success. If mental health is part of the conversation already, I don't know why I'm talking over everyone so blatantly. I get down on my knees to greet this poor dying man. He has sad eyes but a funny voice and clearly had the best plan. I hang on to every word he is able to speak. Like, listen man, I've already called on God three times this week. I was scrawling the screed, enrolling in the typical millennial creeds, snorting speed while he worked the field sowing seeds. I was setting out for a divine comedy to make them laugh at me. Making something so sore and so serious, I cried, Lord, this cannot be. He'll be home for the holidays, he reckons, if the voices can shut the Christmas up for four or five seconds. Or you'll find his name underneath the wreckings of the Hotel California holiday check-ins. Jesus H. Christ, you're pretentious. Jesus Christ on NN dimethyl tryptamine. You just want to be heartbroken. Jesus fucking Christ on ketamine. I'm a crippled poet, dyslexic with a six-shooter rhyme, an exam God willing with my allocated extra time. Delusional or dreaming, he is unwell seeming. I saw him strung out at four in the morning screaming. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Heat rises all around your funeral pyre. Question Zeus, or ask on Poseidon, swim past the moon into the stars of Orion. Oh, Daddy, I feel amazing. Senpai, my heart is racing. I wish I could give something worth taking, some cold hard cash or an ass worth shaking. Anything to fill your pockets, refunds if you are not odd, but look me in the eyes, the miselected queen of fraud. It's me. I'm the lesser spotted meme god. What they don't teach you at the academy. When you're standing too close to the elephant, you can't perform taxidermy. An ache subsides to a new tune. You're bleeding. Don't bleed out too soon. Need not get unsteady. Need not frown. Need now breathe steady. Need not never drown. Focus on none of the above. And if you have the time, would you like to fall in love?
Before the loser's paradise, there was the secret gardens. When you ask constant pardons, and you saw the heart before it hardens. Free flowing, cool, but not wet grass, and a quarter cloudless blue sky with dark to light axis contrast. Yogurts, sugar puffs, and tuna sandwiches. Rip trousers with patches and swinging gates with broken latches. Coherent heart throbs and hide and seek strategies. I'm not the fastest, but I ain't one of the chase's casualties. In the absence of time, anything could be an ire. Unlike how the bee descends towards the flyer, I lay down my arms and refuse to fight. Although I see there is no end in sight, I feel I can hold on a good little while longer and make peace with the warmonger. Like some egotistical patriot for thee, I would lay me down amongst ashes and debris. Forget these patterns you hate to see repeating. Please shield your eyes, my love, they will soon be receding. Bypass the signs yelling for you to give up and run. Enroll your life carelessly to live, but for a nominal sum. And with peace realize that there's enough love underneath the moon and sun for pretty much everyone. Ignore the ironic hypocrisy in the children that sing. Feel love more than the price of a wedding ring. And please acknowledge that there's a tiny amount of beauty to be seen in almost everything.